Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Everything we think we know is a lie. Yeah. History, who we are, where we come from, our religions, our food, our medicine, what this world is, quite literally everything, is a lie. And that's why it's so difficult to ever really discover the truth and to wake up the people around us because all of the information that we're even researching, most of it, has been falsified. That is why people are constantly locked into different belief systems, why they continue to argue with each other, and why they continue to perpetuate their divide and conquer programming. Because in everything that they're looking at and all the information that they've got, they never even factor in the reality. In any investigation into the past, which is invariably where we look to find out what happened and what brought us to this point, most of the information that we glean from old books about historical figures has been doctored, rearranged and rewritten. And in some cases, it's actually even doubtful that many of these people even actually existed. In many cases, works were attributed to people who didn't do those works. In many cases, discoveries were most likely attributed to people who never made those discoveries. Many events were simply fabricated and many people simply did not do what we were told they did. And as I said, in the case of many of them, it's doubtful that they ever even existed. Giants. Genesis 6 4. There were giants in the earth in those days.
happy family. This is my wife and Harold Jr., 16 months old, Eugene, 11 years, Helen, 13, Betty, 9, and this is Robert. Robert is uh, 7 feet 10 inches tall, he weighs 360 pounds, he's 15 years old. In 1939, at the age of 21, he was more than 8 feet 8 inches tall and weighed 491 pounds. Quiet, shy, sensitive to his size, Robert Wadlow was hesitant about appearing in public. This film was made to promote the company that manufactured his shoes, size 37 AA. For him, a visit to New York was as much an ordeal as an outing, yet cameramen lost no opportunity to accentuate his height. Even New York's Governor Al Smith participated in sight gags. Atop the Empire State Building, the tallest building in the world, stood Robert Wadlow, to this day the tallest man in modern history, believe it or not.
In case you find these videos useful, please share them with others so we can help them too. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos and updates. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Peace.